up welcome back to the channel and i'm jade if you haven't been here before and uh welcome back to another moving vlog so in the last moving vlog i showed you what we had to come in our first shipment like little changes we had made other things that we want to do to the house like a kind of talk through of plans and today i'm going to be showing you our stuff arriving because yes everything's here my furniture everything from the uk is here um i'm very very excited about it um and i thought i would show you some footage of like you know not too much because i know it wouldn't be super interesting but just a little bit of the stuff arriving a little bit of unpacking i think i found it hard because the hardest thing is it's been so long that you're saying like what's this what's in here what's that you know because also other packers pack it for you um because of insurance purposes so i didn't like pack the boxes myself really like so I don't really know what's what. They sort of label some stuff, not others. Like, it's not that reliable. Um, oh great, of course someone's gonna like start drilling. So I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I think when you move in general, if you've moved house before, you'll know it's quite stressful. There's lots of unpacking boxes and it's all a bit crazy. But what makes this so much harder is I'm, I really genuinely don't really know where anything is or what's what. And some stuff I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot I had this because it has been that long so just in case you're new here and like starting in the middle of these vlogs basically long story short i am a military wife um moving from the uk to the us so a bit of a big change and it's you know obviously been a long process so getting our stuff shipped and then it arriving it goes through lots of customs it takes a long time so that's kind of why i'm so excited to have everything and it, it i've been living on the bare minimum for so long that it's just like really weird and i in some ways feel like I don't need all of this stuff. I'm not gonna lie, like, I think you start to live so minimally that you start to realize that actually we own so much stuff that we just don't need. Let me show you what the lorry was like that bought our stuff because it was massive. Like, as you can see, it's just, it's huge. Like, it's only half full. So the, the lorry that picked our stuff up in the UK, um, was a lot smaller and our stuff was like rammed in there and it was still quite big but it was like rammed in there like this thing that turned up i was like whoa like you know you're in america when things like that turn up because in the uk i don't think there's many roads that could cope <laughs> with a lorry that size and then obviously what happens is they like bring the stuff in and they give you like a list of stuff so like each box or item has like a number and you have to like take off to verify that it's arrived right in case your stuff goes missing um i don't we didn't have anything go missing we had a couple of very very minor damages but nothing too crazy you know what let's just get into the vlog hey everyone so um it is the morning after the the day that everything arrived i'm so excited to have all my stuff but it is so much to sort out and i ache so badly from yesterday like i never thought i would ache that much because obviously the the movers like carry everything in they like set it up um it's part of like the contract with the military when you move obviously like a lot of the boxes with small things they just leave around and then if anything's broken we can report it later but it's so much work that i haven't even done that much heavy lifting but i think just organizing like i last night was like trying to clean glasses and i've been trying to do a lot of laundry because obviously all my like cutlery silverware um plates cups everything i've been wanting to obviously wash them before we use any of it because they've been in like these boxes for so long and you never know like where they've been on their travels from the uk to the us um it's been a little crazy so today i'm just kind of like comfy clothes no makeup organizing because there is so much to do and i am i am exhausted already i'm not gonna lie and i don't expect this to be something i can do just in a few days so a lot of the stuff's just been kind of thrown up here and there's loads in the basement that we've just kind of chucked down there to sort out we've kind of got the living room almost sort of like livable i will show you like what our current furniture looks like when we're more situated and how we've like arranged things at first and then you can give ideas and everything i think that'll be really really good but for now, yeah, I'm just trying my best to stay sane and organize everything. So yeah, just to like give you a bit of the reality of the mess and stuff. It it, it doesn't look as bad as we did get through a bit yesterday, but um, yeah, my husband had to go back to work today. He only got yesterday off. So it's kind of just me to, you know, get some stuff done. Um, but I also have my music club today, which uh, is where me and a few friends 
uh, we it's like a book club but we review albums and um, so we meet up on a, and like all we'll chat on a phone call about an album assess the lyrics things like that it's really good fun if you're into music if you're not you're gonna be like no that's not for me but yeah we're, we're gonna do Beyonce's album so I've got that today so I've got a bit of a busy day but I am determined to get as much done as I can my uh, vanity has made it in one piece I need to hope they told me this would be dual voltage when I bought it so I need to hope it works um but I don't know if to fill this yet because I don't know if I want the vanity right here in this like I want it in this room but I don't know if in this position I'm like if I fill it first it's gonna be a nightmare to move but I feel like it's gonna take me quite a few weeks to know exactly how I want this mess of a room laid out so yeah and so many things in the shipment got so dirty like I am having to clean everything which is why this is such a big thing but like look at my printer like why why is it so dirty a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher so i'm stopping for a well-deserved break i think but i'm gonna have a new frame bar for some sustenance now this one in uh, the US, I've not seen this flavor in the UK, but it's apple and cinnamon and they are so good if you like apple cinnamon flavors anyway. I know they're a bit hit and miss, but honestly, so, so, so good. And um, they don't have any of that high fructose corn syrup that Americans love to like dump in everything, which is really bad for you. So that's why I'm a huge fan of these. We also have quite a lot of the mess down here, but you know what I'm so relieved about? Ignore that the door won't shut because my key is, uh, I kept that safe separate, I didn't bring that with the movers, is this survived. Now, I know it's not the prettiest thing um, ever, but this was my granddad's. Um, if you read that, to Peter on his 21st birthday, February 9th, 1950, from mum and dad. And um, you know, when he was alive, one of the things he always said is he wanted that to stay in the family and no one else seemed to really want it, said they didn't have room for it. You know, my granddad and I, we were so close and I was like, I cannot let this like go. So it's come to the US with me. I need to put the uh, drawers back in and everything. But yeah, I thought probably going to keep it in this dining area because we don't even have a dining table right now. Um, and I thought it kind of looks like one of those sort of like you know cutlery cabinet cabinets i actually usually often put like ornament things in here and then at the bottom i did have for books i don't i don't know what i'll necessarily use it for right now but i'm so i'm just so happy that that arrived in one piece and my pumpkins made it which i you know there's certain things to worry about we did have a few break breakages please ignore the noise in the background i've got the dishwasher on doing a million cleaning cycles um but we did have my vase break so we had to throw that away one glass one drinking glass which wasn't bad so um and then my husband had a couple of his awards break because they're like made of glass so i feel really bad for him that they've broken but um you know overall so far not so much seems to be broken but we have got plenty of more boxes to go through our hearts beat to the city streets we begin to feel the fire Sorry, I know you can hear the laundry in the laundry room, but this is everything that I still need to go through. Um, as I said, I, I'm not expecting to unpack all of this because I'm gonna have to buy some different storage things and stuff as this house is much bigger than my old one. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm left with. It's it's a little, it's a little crazy. There is so much random stuff and there's a lot of stuff that I'm just like, where is it? You know, like I wish, it was a little bit better organized, but the way that the movers pack it is kind of random and they don't really put them in any rhyme or reason order or uh, sometimes they don't even label the boxes. So yeah, it's just a bit of a crazy nightmare. Okay, so it's day two of unpacking and I've got to this box, which is a lot of my kind of like ornamenty stuff, I guess, and like just some random things like my old wedding flowers and things like that like I started unwrapping things but oh my god look at this I put it over here hang on my little Mirena glass pig from uh from Venice 
wasn't wrapped in anything. It was just thrown in the box. Like, thankfully it survived. But like, how bad is that of the movers? Like, it's not one of the Moreno glass things that's worth a lot. I do have an elephant that is worth like 80 euros or something. So I'm really hoping that's okay. But uh, yeah, I was so worried my pig like wasn't wrapped. I mean, this only cost me like 10 euros, I think, or something, but still, isn't that just like the cutest thing? And that would have broken my heart if that was broken. As you can see, lots of mess behind me. There are still so many boxes for me to go through. This is quite a long process. Like I'm not gonna, as I said, film everything because this would be really boring for you to watch, but I feel like a bit of an update, what it's like, because I know for some people you're gonna be watching this and you've probably like never moved house or anything and you won't know the stresses that come with it, especially when you're moving country, like, yeah. Like, I legitimately feel like this laundry room may as well just become my new home. I should just put a bed in here. <laughs> I have done so many loads of laundry and I've got so many to go. Because um, I do want to wash everything because, like, sometimes they just didn't pack everything quite, you know. And it's been in storage for so long and it's just, yeah. So I need to wash everything. But it's so much. It's so much. <laughs> it's okay. The elephant is also okay. Don't you just think that's the cutest thing though? I don't know where I want to display it because I'm so scared I will break it. So I don't know if to just have it in my granddad's bookcase behind the glass, even though I really, I love it and I kind of want it in my office space. But if I like knocked it over, I don't know. I did box that in myself though. So I was hoping it'd be fine. Um, and they did wrap the box, which is good. They probably checked what was in it, hopefully. Okay, so that was kind of like the whole moving process that so you could see like a little glimpse into that. I am now gonna show you a little bit of our furniture laid out. Now, not all of the unpacking is done, mainly because there is like new furniture and storage and stuff that I eventually wanna buy. So it's just kind of easier to leave certain things in boxes for now. Um, so there is still a lot to do and a lot to sort out, but I thought I'd show you sort of the rooms where we've kind of got all the furniture that we currently own that's gonna go in there, in there. And then perhaps you can like come up with some like decor ideas with me. You know, it's kind of assessing what else still needs to be bought, what needs to be changed. And um, yeah, so it's just gonna be the rooms where I feel like that's kind of useful. Um, even though obviously the military pay a lot of costs, there is still a lot of things involved and it still costs a lot of money. So as much as I would love to just change everything and have new everything, I have to be realistic. And you know what I've realized is I watched so many videos of people getting new houses new apartments on youtube like so many youtubers and it's amazing to watch and i i love all the videos but i have to be realistic and think you know what these youtubers all have quite a lot of money the ones that i've been watching on this and they can afford to just go in somewhere and buy new everything i can't do that you know, I have to be realistic. And also a lot of the time with YouTube, they're renting. So they don't have that massive upfront cost for the mortgage, you know, cause we bought a house. There's that massive chunk of money that's now gone. And then we have to be, you know, sensible because obviously we don't want to use the entirety of our savings in case something goes wrong. So you kind of always want that like back buffer of money. So that's kind of where I'm at with it. As much as I would love to do what a lot of these YouTubers do and be like, come with me and redecorate my whole entire new apartment. I can't do that, but I still feel like, you know, over time, we're still gonna make lots of changes. We're still gonna have to buy new things at some point, and you'll see that in the next clips. So yeah, just just work with me, give me ideas, and eventually, as money builds back up, I'll be able to do it. So I'm super, super excited anyway. Like, even though it's gotta be a slow process, it's probably better because it gives me something to look forward to for a long time, just constantly making changes and everything. So yeah, let me show you kind of how the furniture situation is sort of like right now. Okay, I'm just starting this out in the kitchen. Um, there's not a lot I really wanna change in here anytime soon because I think I already spoke about it. Um, we kind of wanna redo a lot of the kitchen eventually, especially the floor. Um, so for now, we just put our old British dining table in here. I say British, it actually came from America with my husband originally and then it's come back. It's old, it's tired, but you know, you can sit at it and eat. So it kind of is a good little size to have as like the little kitchen table in this little window nook area. I've hung a couple of things on the wall just to decorate the space a little bit that, you know, we already had in our belongings, but yeah. For now, I'm quite happy with this space, but I thought I'd show you as we have moved stuff in. Please excuse the mess on the table, but um, I was video chatting to my friend, which is why my phone uh, stand is there. 
and uh, you know, my water bottle and things like that. So yeah, but I thought I'd just show you this because it is like obviously where things have been moved into and I feel like this room's feeling a little bit more like complete and homely or as complete as it's gonna get until we sort of like properly change things in here. And that is definitely a project for the future. But if we turn around, <laughs> this is the dining room and uh, you can laugh because yes, it looks still very empty and incomplete. <laughs> Obviously, again, we've got a table to sit and eat on right now. So as much as I really want a really nice dining table, I would rather save until it's in our budget to get what we want rather than just rush out and buy, you know, the cheapest thing we can get at Ikea or something. So for me, that's again, another future investment. I don't have friends here yet. Like I haven't been here long enough to make friends. So <laughs> it's not like we were gonna be entertaining anyone particularly. Um, saying that we have been to um, one of Cody's colleagues in his wife's house and they were lovely and it would be nice to have them over sometime but I feel like we can get around it and we also have a little table that goes in the garden so like if it's nice weather we can just eat out there anyway so like basically a dining table is not like massive rush um the rug that you can see like here I don't know what to do with that that used to be in my dressing room and I just don't really have anywhere in this house where I feel like it's a great fit because I feel like once we have a dining table in this space we're gonna want like a biggish rug underneath this rug doesn't fold out very big it's not that big but it is a really nice rug so I'm like I don't know what to do with it so if you have any ideas of maybe where I can put it I don't know if you know from my empty house tour or if you just see anything in this video do let me know um the camping chairs next to it are just there because we went to a music festival and took them with us very recently and then so the only thing in here is my granddad's bookcase which you would have just seen that i was saying i was so happy about it arriving i put like some of my little ornaments in there on the top of my garden stuff i need to go put display that stuff in the garden like and decorate the garden with it but i haven't got around to that but yeah this is uh all my little ornament things these are like my little wedding boxes they have like wedding memories and things wedding flowers uh, next to them and then underneath i've just used that for like storage for like photos and things like that so that's kind of this room so as you can see does need a decor as well um please excuse the shoes in the corner and box with new boots in um but yeah as you can see this room is definitely gonna need some kind of decor but again i feel like we need to buy the table first but if you have any ideas like plants paintings you think could look nice in a dining room please do send them my way so my sofa is here obviously that's what i'm so excited about just having somewhere comfy to sit so this is kind of what the living room is looking like after all the unpacking and things um please excuse the mess on the sofa but it has my ipad and the book i'm currently reading because you know can't, we can't use that middle seat as a table because there's two of us and the side seats recline so we will sit there and then like the middle is just where we put everything it's terrible um but yeah we've got that we've got the little hippo arrived my little hippo ottoman i love that a bit we're kind of using it as a coffee table right now um <laughs> i've got a few of our deco decor bits that i've got out so far and just sort of decorated it around here the certificate is my husband just got promoted so that's why that's there for now that'll go somewhere else at some point but this is kind of what it's looking like so far i've got like my nan's cat that i have in memory of my nan um vase duck uh, these are not going to be left in this way this is just kind of where i've put the deck so i know where it is um yeah and then obviously tv tv stand um and then my little side table thing which just has our internet on and again a couple of decorative bits the flower lights at the bottom i don't know where to put them they used to call my fireplace in the uk but here because my fireplace is white having white flowers looks kind of strange um so yeah this is how this is feeling it obviously looks pretty empty um <laughs> my house in the uk was just so much smaller um so i feel like it definitely needs a rug if you have any ideas on design colors or anything for that, again, do send them my way. I love hearing people's ideas. I've got sort of ideas in my head, but you know, I feel like it definitely needs a rug, probably some kind of artwork or something on that wall over there. And then what I'd eventually like to do is probably get like two chairs here. I did want to buy a whole new sofa set, but our sofa isn't really that old and it's still in pretty good condition. 
it's not like my favorite color or anything. My husband got it just before we married. But, you know, with the only the two of us having lived together, we don't have children or pets or as of yet. Um, it's kind of in a good condition. So like why waste money when a sofa set is so expensive? But I was thinking of getting like two armchairs and then sort of like tying them in together through like cushions or something. Let me know what you think for the, the space and the ideas and whatever, because I am always intrigued to, to hear about what you think. Okay, so this might be the room I'm most excited to show you, the guest room. Um, ignore the dresses that are on the bed. That's because I need to take them to the dry cleaner, so they're just there, so I know where they are. But in my video about plans for the house, I said I didn't know if they would be able to fit the bed in here and be able to close the door, and I wasn't really sure. But oh my god, look at this, look at this. I can close the door, I can close the door, so... It actually works really well. I think everyone who suggested I should have the bigger room for myself and this smaller one for guests were completely right because we're not gonna have regular guests. Obviously, it's a bit bare right now. It just has, this is our old bed from the UK because we bought ourselves a new king one here. Um, but obviously, it's in pretty good condition. It isn't a very wide gap down here. Like people can scoot down the side of the bed, but obviously I couldn't really cover the, the vent for the heating and uh, aircon so this is kind of what it's like right now the bed's a little messed up because we were catting and he loved sleeping in here and i was often laying in here playing with him and i haven't remade the bed um obviously it needs curtains definitely but i feel like this could be a fun room to decorate because it'll be simple but easy um my clothes are hanging in here right now because I still need to wait until i move everything to the main closet until that's all redone but yeah i'm thinking obviously a side table what i'm gonna do is use one of our current ones that we're using in our bedroom because i want to get new furniture for there but i'm definitely going to use that so they'll have a side table where the socket is obviously i need to get like a little lamp or something i feel like and then i feel like maybe some artwork on this far wall just so it's uh you know not quite so plain but i feel like curtains artwork and like side table lamp maybe a little plant or something. I feel like that should be enough. Like, what do you think? Of course, the building work at my neighbor's has got really loud as I've come in here. So I really hope it's not too annoying, but my microphone is not charged. But this is how the bedroom's looking right now. I have mentioned uh, in previous vlogs, we wanna get like a new bed set, but they're very expensive, but we'd rather save and have like one we really want than just like, you know, rush in and buy something. For now, it's a perfectly functional bed. You know, we have the cheap frame that just goes underneath with our mattress on right now, um, which is fine. My childhood hoodie is still sitting there. Um, and then we will eventually get new um, side tables. Ours don't actually match because my husband had the bed frame from the guest room and the matching side table before he knew me. And then obviously he had to buy me a side table and that was, the other one was the nearest thing we could get, but they're not the same. But the plan will be eventually this will move his side table, which matches the other bed frame, into the guest room. And then obviously buy the lamp and everything for there. But I feel like it'll be quite a while until we have any guests. Probably not until next year, honestly, if I'm being realistic. And then we've got my one. But we do have a bit of an issue, you see. So when we do get stuff, the vent for this room is down here. So you can't cover that. That's why there's like an annoying gap there right now. So I kind of need one that is like higher and leaves that blank or I could get like wall mounted side tables but not really sure what I want to do with that yet so that's just something to think about and uh yeah here is the dresser and mirror the mirror is covered by the tv because we do have a little bedroom tv um so it kind of ruins the aesthetic not gonna lie but it's just kind of how it is I've got my laundry basket thing there I need a new one it's like completely falling apart um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We've got the curtains, obviously. Definitely needs some more decor and stuff in here, but I feel like until we really get the bed set, this room is probably something that's more just for functionality of sleeping in um, and practicality. And then eventually, obviously, would love to do something good with this bedroom. And if you have any future decor ideas, still do give them to me. So this room is still by far the messiest. I have my vanity arrived. I definitely still need to check if the plug works because my mirror should be dual voltage but I need to double check that 
Um, but yeah, as you can see, a bit of a mess. Still got the bin bag and the broken blinds. So obviously blinds are quite a priority for this room just because I do want to turn this into my office and I'll be teaching from here. So yeah, I do need new blinds because they're really not good. Um, I did set up my old computer desk for now. I want to get a new one. Like I've had that since I was 10 years old. That's how old that is. Um, still in really good condition considering it cost me 30, 30 pounds when I was 10 new from Argos <laughs> but yeah and then obviously I've got the keyboard I've got my clothes rack which I didn't really know where I want to put this but like I feel like this room's the only room it's gonna fit in so yeah as you can see it's still a bit of a mess still lots to unpack but I don't want to fully unpack things when I want to move things around so honestly this room is probably what I could do with the most help with if you have any ideas on how to organize this they so think computer desk but bigger than that one I want a bigger one maybe like a corner one then I've got my keyboard the clothes rack, the vanity table, uh, my microphones. And then I do want to get some bookcases for in here for my books too. So it's going to be like office, library, beauty space of mine, just like kind of my space. And it's all a bit mixed. I don't know the best way to organize all of this. So if, if you have an idea on how to lay out this room, do let me know for this one. Because this one's going to take the most work, I think, because I just want it to be right. So yeah. And I definitely will be buying a lot of new furniture for it, which doesn't necessarily need to be very expensive. It'll probably be like Ikea and stuff. Hence, I'll probably be doing this room before a lot of the others. But yeah, as you can see, that's kind of like where we're at right now with unpacking. This house obviously is bigger. We have more room and do need to eventually invest in more stuff. I obviously want to decorate it, make it look nice, feel a lot more homely. Um, so yeah, if you have any ideas for what I can do in the future, please do let me know. Um, I will be doing some like come shop with me for things at some point but I do as I said need to be careful with money and I'm also going back to the UK for a few weeks so that's kind of where my money and time and energy is at right now um but once I'm back then obviously I can focus on things and uh yeah that's that is kind of where we're at with the house and um so one exciting piece of news before I go and another couple of little clips uh you know what I'll just let the clips explain Hey guys, um, so I am about to make my first solo drive in the US. So I actually passed my test the other day. Um, easiest test ever, by the way. Like, I was really getting myself worked up about it. Like, the booklet was saying about these things called two-point turnabouts, three-point turnabouts. Three-point turnabouts is basically a three-point turn in the UK. Um, a two-point turnabout is basically like going into a drive and back out, but you do like a reverse one, a forward one things like that and then it said parallel park on left parallel park on right um because you can do it towards opposing traffic in the us um so, so i was a bit like oh my god okay and then it was like oh you need to do a walk around with your car you have to show them everything like how you check your treads how you check your tire pressure and i was like what the fuck but i didn't have to do any of that i had to show them that my blinkers you know signals worked my turn signals worked i had to uh show them that that my indicators worked and um show them that my brake lights worked and then i literally went on a 10 minute drive where i was asked to do absolutely zero maneuvers so it was really nice and easy and i i passed so, so easy um so yeah and then i was like right i need to make myself drive alone now i need to be brave so i'm just going to take myself to the store and grab a couple of groceries that i need um because i need some fruit and things like that so that's what i'm going to do um and I guess I will let you know once I've made it safely. Because obviously I'm not going to film myself driving because that isn't safe. And I don't actually have like anywhere good to put my phone. Um, in my British car, I had like a holder, which was great. But I just, it doesn't fit on the, um, it's sort of attached to the, what do you call it? Where the heat and the aircon come out. <laughs> what are they called? I can't think. Air vent. It attached to like the grill thing on the air vent, but... It doesn't fit in this car and they have really tiny vents i don't know what i'm gonna do i need to get something that is good if you have any good sort of phone holder recommendations for me please let me know because it'll be very useful when i'm using the sat nav today i'm just gonna have to be going off the sound um i know roughly where i'm going but i don't know what turn i take so yeah but i won't be able to see my screen without like looking at the like middle console or something which i obviously don't really want to be taking my eyes off the road especially my first time driving alone I am pretty nervous to be going out alone for my first time. The roads are pretty busy in America. Um, like, it's just kind of normal when you get to, like, 
near shopping areas that it often goes to like three or four lanes so i have to make sure obviously i'm in the right lane um which the right lane for me will be the left lane which is obviously the fast one so i wouldn't be in there for like most of the journey so yeah just to you know make things confusing so we will see how this goes i'll check in with you when i get there okay so i made it i made my first drive um i am currently in the target parking lot and uh it actually wasn't too bad it, it was pretty quiet so it was quite nice um you know i think you always get yourself you know worked out up about new things and just driving for my first time alone in america was kind of different um i did forget to say in my you know video telling you about me driving um i forgot to say that in the us because i didn't explain this if you move from the uk you do have to redo your driving test in case that wasn't clear like that's obviously why i had to do it I can only drive on my British license for a certain amount of time and obviously in that time I just sort of practiced with my husband in the car um, and then I got my temporary license um, because obviously I didn't even have my car straight away so then I got my like learner's permit temporary license which you have to do your theory first here before you're allowed to even drive at all which kind of makes total sense like in the UK why are you allowed to drive like get behind the wheel even if with with an instructor before you actually pass that you know the rules of the road it's kind of crazy when you think about it but what happens here is you do your test and then you have a year after the theory to pass your test so you have to redo the theory um so yeah that's just kind of how it works just to explain why i was doing the test and uh yeah i uh, i'm gonna go browse around target i will do a come shop with me at target video i've been asked for these um, I'm not going to do that today just because I don't really need anything. I'm just having a quick browse. I really am here just to go to the grocery store. Um, and I think it would be more interesting when I'm actually looking for things to like take you around. Um, but, uh, yeah. So just know that will be coming. I know a lot of you are interested in Walmart, Target and everything. And if you're American, you're probably not. But, you know, you might be like me and just like to see what people buy and just what is in stores anyway. Um, so, yeah, I will be doing that. And I'm out of Target. This Target's supposedly smaller than the other one that I have once been to, but it really wasn't that much smaller. And this one's just so much nicer. Everyone's friendlier, it's quieter. I, I just like it. And it has a Starbucks inside. So I grabbed myself one. She actually spelled my name right, which Americans never do. I, I don't know why. Jade is just a hard name, apparently. The closest I've had, apart from obviously this being correct, is Jada, which I got at the airport. And when they started yelling Jada, I just obviously knew it was me, but it was super busy, but I just was like, that's got to be mine. Um, but this is a new drink called Summer Sky. Don't actually have a clue what's in it. It looks kind of like bubble tea, um, but I just thought I would give it a go. I don't know if it's available in the UK. Uh, you'll have to let me know. But uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I will take you in Target, as I said. It is pretty cool. Um, but I'm actually going back to the UK for a few weeks, literally in two weeks time. So I'm obviously not really focused on buying things for the house right now. And I do need to save and actually spend money on repairs more than decor as, not, as much as I love the decor side. Um, so I obviously will be doing more of that kind of stuff when I'm back. So I will then show you around to tell you or something. I feel like everyone will stare at me because I'm not in like, you know, New York, LA, where people ever film themselves, where it's like, common i feel like i definitely will get stared at here in kansas but i will do it for you yeah i'm gonna enjoy my drink now and end the vlog here and uh, go to the grocery store so yeah bye guys